Right. Let's try it again now that I'm here. <laughs> Weren't ready for that, now were you? Okay. Uh, through here. Damn it. I am hurting for food. For food? For health. Uh, you know what? Let's go in grams. Uh, awkward, awkward. Oh gosh! <laughs> Okay, that was great. Sure, I wasted a lot more ammo than I needed to, but it was entertaining. That's all that ultimately matters, right? Yeah, Molotov. Oh, they're still alive. <laughs> uh. Pinkers. Let's see. Where am I going? Next, this way? Looks like it. That is a nice darkened place. With pots ready to fall off. Fall out. No pink colors though. Just, nope. We was gonna complain. Game Starting sense that. Like more cleaners to the right in the lobby behind the door. Oh, <gasps> interesting known. Out of the way, table. Ah, <sighs> unknown continues. Wherever I went, the payphone started to ring. Yeah, Finally, been there. I collected enough courage to answer one. John, you must run. He's coming after you. He wants to catch you. They're closing in. John, I love you. Don't give up. I wasn't going to give up on her. I could hear her voice in my head wherever I went, guiding me. I traced my double to a classy uptown nightclub, Pink Flamingo. It was happy hour. They were serving flamingo cocktails. Somehow the flamingo was tied to my double. A stripper in the bar looked just like my girlfriend. Mira's men had found me. I ran. Stop him! There he goes! Stop it! You can't escape! We're coming to take you away! You have nowhere to run! Mira was an influential figure in Noir York. His men chased me. They wore white uniforms. They looked so clean. They chased me in black bands with the logo of the flamingo on them. I ran. Hmm. Alright, let's keep going. Whoop! You're a far ways away. He took two sh- well, he took a shot. And he's just like chilling out. Here we go. I'm out of ideas, Max. I'll check the apartment the cleaner was guarding. On a window cleaner's lift when I can use the elevator. Don't know, for fun, the thrill of it, like bungee jumping, extreme sports, you know. Don't get it. That's something for stupid kids with a death wish. I don't need to die to feel I'm alive. 
This isn't exactly a job without its hazards, what we are doing. Granted, but we get paid for doing this. Money's the difference. The guy will put up with all kinds of crazy shit for money. Okay, so... Let's see, most entertaining, probably be these again. Oh. Well then. Mona, I found a window cleaner's lift. I'm headed down. Max? Yeah. I don't know, I just... just wanted to say... Damn it! Mona? Mona? Mona! That's no good. Also, stupid game. <laughs> Taking away my fun of blasting this guy far into the distance. Uh. Down there, he's gonna get away. Oh, that hey, doesn't sound good. No. Oh. What's going on? Stop. Stop. Oh, damn it. <sighs> and I am all the way back here. Great. Uh. Oh, shoot. Oh, he's shooting. He's doing the thing I just told him to. I stole much of the game to the other side of the room. <laughs> Alright, let's see something quickly. Stupid TV. Alright, um. Let's make sure I actually save this time around. How much ammo do I have? Not much. Okay. Let's get through this quickly. So speed run through this. Starting to sound like a broken record here. Uh, why aren't there? Cleaners to the right in the lobby behind the door. Thanks. Pink was here. Yeah. This time. Eh. Mona, I found a window cleaner's lift. I'm headed down. Max? Yeah. I don't know. I just just wanted to say. Damn it. Mona? Mona? Mona! Okay. Things are going better this time around. Uh. I'm hearing the explosions. Ah, window. Oh! Oh no! Seems like I'm the one that got got. Okay. Whoa! Bye. Someone had got the Mona. Nothing had worked out as planned. Okay. I had to find another way down to the lobby. This TV? No. A lot of surround sound speakers, though. Let's see. Uh. Uh. Just a giant box. Whoa. Okay, there they are. You know what? Some of these guys are dropping this. Let's start using an assault rifle. A bit more accurate. Uh, P. 
thing. Oh. Hey, it's Kaufman. Find him. Take care of him. Yeah. Uh, Molotov. Molotov. Uh. Hey. You can't hide. I'm sure he could. However, you can't hide even more so. Oh gosh. <sighs> Just standing there. Okay. <laughs> I love how his corpse is there. Okay, thankfully the game was kind enough to let me. Oh gosh. Don't quite have the ammo to mess about with flying bodies with this gun just yet. Damn it. <laughs> Up. 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 Okay, so now we just got Kaufman himself to deal with. Uh. And that's how you do it. Oh gosh. Uh. In grams. You just need to throw as many bullets into them as possible, as quickly as possible. Okay. Why had she come to me in the first place? For help? For something she wasn't telling me? Hmm. Down to the NYPD, lobby. Whoa. Easy, Dumbo. Sup, guys? Just me. Kane, what are you doing? What are you doing? The million dollar question I didn't have the answer to. A binary choice. What were you thinking? I wasn't. Were you thinking at all? I was Probably following not. a lead. She was helping me. She is a fugitive murder suspect, for Christ's sakes. I was trying to save those people from the cleaners. The two cases are connected, mine and Winterson's. Senator Gate was killed by the cleaners. They are connected. Winterson can have them both. She doesn't back you up. I was doing my job. I'm sorry to do this, Payne, but it's for your own good. Hand me your guns. I'm putting you to a desk job. Start by writing a report on what the hell happened on the Upper East Side. Fraternizing with the enemy, I had stepped over the edge. The cartoon moment when the gravity waits for the coyote to realize his mistake before the plunge. Get yourself to a counselor. You're falling apart. When you're ready to go to AA, come talk to me. Get your act together. And get someone in here to help me with this mess. Oh. Bad. At myself, at Pravora, at Mona. Was she worth this? At the same time, not as bad as what it could be, that's for sure. No way. I'm Don't busy. envy you. Some of us the way the boss goes do. on about it. No use going in there to clean up. Let him cool off a bit. You better just write that report. Yeah, I'll think about it. Like He's I'm on his good behavior again. The Demotes closed, himself from deputy chief to reason. lieutenant just to stay close to the man on the street. You ask me, he loves us all a bit too much for his own good. I'm busy the making a list of people for AA. who he gave you that too? Fire. You gotta hand it to him though. Wonderful. He did beat the bottle. Something like that's gotta stay with you. I don't get why both of you were talking at the same time, but regardless. Now we get to explore the police station a bit. 
We found you out of it on V, covered in blood, burying the pieces of your wife and the pizza guy under a rose bush in the backyard. There's a bloody chainsaw in the bathtub, and by the looks of it, they had been shot in your bed. The murder weapons have your prints all over them, and you say you didn't do it. Hell no! I'm a fool guy! I've been framed! It's a setup! I was getting too close to the truth, so they had to get rid of me. This should be good. Your wife and the pizza delivery guy had to get rid of you? No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, yeah, they, they were gonna whack me. Uh-huh. Fuck it, they, they, they were gonna whack me, steal my money. It was self-defense. Right, your wife and the pizza guy were trespassing in your bed and you killed them. No, I didn't kill anyone. It's a frame-up. Weren't you listening? Okay, now I get it. Your wife and the pizza guy deviously conspired to set you up. They kill themselves in your bed with your gun, proceed to chop each other to pieces in your bathtub with your chainsaw, and finally lure you to the backyard where they patiently wait under the rose bush to inject you with V, and when you are helpless, they leak blood all over you and call the police. Anything to add? See, that's just it. I wish it was that easy. A and I know this sounds crazy, but they weren't in on it alone. It's much bigger than that. Basically, anyone who does home delivery is in on it. The mailman. And that means that the government is involved. The mailman told me all about it. So all we have to do is to get in touch with this mailman and we get the proof. You see, that's not gonna work. He's dead. The mailman's dead. I'm sure the DA would go easy on you if you just come clean right now and told where you buried his body. I suppose it's not under the same rose bush. See what I mean? This is what I'm talking about. You're not listening. You failed to grasp how serious this is. Okay, so how would you like to take this forward? Give me a gun and set me loose, and I'll have this mess sorted out in no time. Okay, nope. Okay, wise guy, the comedy hour is over. You shut up for a while so I can write this crap down. <laughs> uh, it sounds like someone's having a headache of a person there to deal with. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is my desk. Uh, it looks like I brought some evidence with me. Uh, the case, Vladimir Len, the Mafia, Vinny, Annie Flynn, Russian mob. Hmm. Some stuff of Max. I'll have a bit more exploration. Interrogation lineup. Can't do anything down there. In there, even. Rec room. Let's wreck some stuff. Ooh, lords and ladies. Hey, we're watching that. Yeah, that's fine. Same here. Get out uh, of the way, Payne. And now, lords and ladies continue. <laughs> is beyond reason. Valentine has gone to a rendezvous with his mistress, the harlot. She is no lady. Oh, good, good, Jack, my son. Jack, my favorite son. You have done right in turning to me in this distasteful affair. Mama, tell me what to do and I will do it. Anything to save our name from disgrace? Yes, good, good. That witch has made my valentine blind with love. She must be stopped. Jack, my boy, our name, our line is pure, precious, holy. It must be preserved at any cost. Anyone who threatens it is our mortal enemy. They must be stopped by any means. The honor of the whole of York is at stake. Yes, my boy. Yes, good, good. By any means. Even murder is a rightful course. She is a criminal. Yes, Mama. I am so proud of you, Jack, my precious son. You will lift our name to new glorious heights. Truly, you are a lord. Yes, Mama. Good, good. Do what is necessary. Now go to the harlot's house. Ride like the wind. Fight proud, my son. Yes, mama. 
Good. Good. And to know. We were watching that. <laughs> Ah! Okay, I'm done. Um, address unknown. You're not gonna pick that up, Max? Fine. Do not use. Hey, uh. nice going, Payne. Good job. If there was still summer, you'd be a dead man right about now. You better stop praying we won't get an Indian summer, Payne. Hee hee hee. Breaking all the things. Um, I like how in Lords of Ladies as well, it's. I was putting off the inevitable. I had to go to my desk, get started on that damn report. Nah. Um, but I find it funny that uh, it looks like the Lords and Ladies, the mother is the same person who does the other uh, son. And lock up. Let's not worry about lock up just yet. Dispatch. Hello? Phone? So my boyfriend, the loser jerk, sits on his ass all day and keeps playing these stupid video games. You know, stupid dick justice and stuff. Doesn't go to work, gives me no thought. Unfortunately, being a jerk is not a crime. No, no, I wasn't finished. I'm getting to it. Uh -huh. I got real sick of it and threw the television out of the window. It was mine. I can do whatever I want with it, right? As long as no one got hurt. That's what I told him. He's my ex, really. But now the sicko's threatening to kill me. That's a crime, right? He's been playing those video games an awful lot. Makes him a very good shooter. Holding that controller's like holding a gun, they say in the news. You gotta help me. I fear for my life. Okay, miss. Sit down for a moment and we'll take your name and address and see what we can do about it. Okay. <sighs> People. 10-4. Oops. Repeat. Can you verify that? Sorry, detective. Can't help you now. I need to take this call. <laughs> Just knock the chairs down all over. Uh, let's see. Hi. How come it's this hot in here? It's fallen raining outside. Has someone messed up the air conditioning again? Uh, no. Also, I love his talk animation. It's just like got a crink in his neck. I wouldn't right. be afraid to go home if you'd be there. I nope. can give you my number in I'm case good, you, thank you get an urge to protect someone in the middle of the night. Mm, just go this way. To the toilets. Painkillers? For crying out loud. Is it too much to ask for some privacy? I'll be yes. out when it's done. <laughs> it's always too much to fat task. Briefing. Ooh. Doesn't look very pleasant. Can I change the slides? I can. She made me do it. Hmm. Well, let's see. What else can I explore? I thought about walking away, vanishing into the night. I couldn't do it. Oh, okay. Um, I needed to talk to Mona. Behind bars, she wasn't going anywhere before I'd get some answers. The cells were downstairs. Okay. Oh, a hat. Want to get to the lockup? Just press the buzzer by the door. Petersburg will buzz you in. Okay, how's it going? There's nothing more boring than sitting behind this desk. Uh, let's see. Beep. Yeah. Payne here. I need a statement from Mona Sachs. Sorry, Payne. She's upstairs in a lineup. <clears throat> Can I still come in? I won't go in. Oh, you guys are mean. <sighs> well, let's have a look through the other uh, area first. And this way. I think it just leads to the garage. How do you expect anyone to remember your name if you can't spell it right yourself, Prasad? It's basic positioning. It all starts with a name. None of that matters. When I crack this case, Miller, they'll remember. Like you're ever gonna crack it. 
It'll be done when it's done. I'm gonna do it right. It's the spirit of the law, not the letter. I'll be on your back about it till you do. You already put a snake in my bed. What more can you do? Okay. Uh, how's it going? Positioning. Like that's what the job's about. Hey, Payne. Max Payne. Now there's a catchy name for you. Yeah. Bug, bug, bug. Let's have a look. Garage check in. Cars. Don't expect to be able to actually get out this way or do anything over here, but you know. I feel like exploring. For some reason, I'm getting a uh, Hitman Blood Money vibe. <laughs> I don't know why. I just suddenly feel like I'm playing that game. It's like the garage level. Not the garage level. Uh, one of the last levels with the. Uh, heaven and hell parties, and you have to go into the garage. Ah, uh, blood money. That's a fun game. Anywho, uh, can we get into the lockup this way? Nope. Well, that sucks. So, Mona was doing interrogation? Okay, let's go and check up on her.